Emma Roberts is not interested in discussing her ex-husband, Garrett Hedlund, and is instead concentrating on her current life as a mother. At first glance, Emma Roberts and Garrett Hedlund appear to be the perfect match. Fans have been gushing over the couple since they began dating in March 2019, shortly after Roberts' shocking breakup from Evan Peters was made public. Emma Roberts is enjoying motherhood these days. The Toddler Magazine's March 2022 issue featured Robert's statement that she is enjoying parenting at the moment. Additionally, she appreciates having her mother, Kelly Cunningham, by her side. When asked about her mother, the actress responded, She has pretty much been with me nonstop since Rhodes was born. She did not, however, bring up the subject of the father throughout the interview in which she discussed her early days as an actress. They're not that close, Robert said when asked. She moved in her chair and said, I'm not sure how to put this. No, we're not doing that. The 30-year-old also confessed that she had originally hoped to become a mother before the age of 25 years. When asked about her half-sister Grace Nichols, who was born when Roberts was 9 years old, she recalled, I remember Grace as a baby so well. I felt a strong sense of responsibility for her well-being. My mother makes becoming a mother seem effortless and wonderful, and I thought to myself, I want that. Endometriosis was discovered in the late 20s of the American horror story actress, which was unfortunate for her. Despite the fact that she wasn't unhappy, she described feeling heavy at the time as she recalled. In the end, she said, I sat with myself and thought, fortunately, I know older women who are wonderful role models of the fact that you don't need children to be happy. She went on to say that she knows older women who are excellent role models of the fact that you don't need children to be happy. I would either be a parent or I would not be a parent, whichever one it was. I wanted to be in complete and total acceptance of whatever it was. She subsequently made the decision to freeze her eggs, which allowed her to have a spontaneous conception. Emma Roberts still doesn't want to talk about Garrett Hedlund. Naturally, the magazine couldn't help but inquire about Roberts' recently broken romance, which was covered extensively in the magazine. She admitted that talking about relationships I'm in or that are ending or have ended is something she dislikes. As for her current relationship with Hedlund, she politely declined to speak on the subject. She said instead of saying, I'm at a point in my life where I can say, I may not have gotten everything right, but I really like who I am more than I've ever liked. She said, my life has changed more in the previous two years than it has in the preceding 28 years, and I am happy with where I am now at the age of 30. Roberts has made it apparent that aside from her professional endeavors, she is currently preoccupied with raising her kid. Regarding her hopes for parenting her son, she stated, I definitely think about how I can help him be the ultimate gentleman. I wanted him to be respectful and intelligent not only at school but also in his future endeavors in life. Manhood is changing right now, and I hope that my contribution to the world will be raising a beautiful child who will grow into an even more incredible man someday. My goal is for him to feel as though there is nothing he couldn't ask or say to me. What's next for Emma Roberts? Despite the fact that her priorities have shifted following the birth of her baby, Roberts is still able to work and is looking forward to her upcoming endeavors. Upon returning to work after her four-month maternity leave, the actress stated, I wouldn't have done it if it hadn't been for my mother's encouragement. Knowing that she would be there to provide wonderful care for Rhodes allowed me to be fully present on set says the director. Because of her production company, she is also grateful for having more creative freedom these days, which she describes as a space where I can develop parts for myself that I don't see out there. Over the course of the previous years, it has become something she cherishes. Her early years in Hollywood were characterized by Robert's admission that she didn't realize I was in control of my life. I've always wanted to be a part of film and television projects in a more creative capacity, and now I'm able to do so. What I want to be around for how long and in what capacity are all decisions I have the power to make. This was something that didn't even occur to me till I was in my mid-twenties. First Kill, the first series produced by her firm, is expected to debut on Netflix later this year. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What are your views about it? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.